Well, with our long winter nights and sub-zero temperatures on the way, it's easy to feel blue. But can you eat your way to a better mood? Good question. WCCO's Heather Brown explains how the right foods can make you feel happier, whatever the season. So are there some foods that just make you happy? Yes. Uh, cheesecake. French toast. <laughs> I really love cheesecake. Turkey dinners make me happy. That's not the type of happy foods that we're talking about. That's right. Dr. Okay. Timothy Colbert is a developmental right. pediatrician. My <laughs> version of a happy food would be a food that really, in the long run, uh -huh. you know, feeds your mind and your body in a way that's really healthy and sustainable. And that means more. We have spinach, we have green peppers, we have tomatoes. Then just eat your brightly colored fruits and veggies. Though those count as happy too. Are there such things as happy foods? I really think there are. It has helped, but everything can be a hit and miss. More than 50% of the kids that I see with depression, anxiety, or ADHD have done very, very well if we change their diet somewhat. Let's start with anxiety. He says food with magnesium, which is very calming to the nervous system, can help. Avocados, black beans, cashews, almonds, tofu, whole grains, dark chocolate. Already there. <laughs> You're talking to a vegan, so it's like, yeah, I, I have my, my cashew yogurt at home. Uh -huh. I brought some dark chocolate over to eat with my friends. How's your anxiety levels? Oh, I'm, I'm far too chill. Then there's depression. Depression, at least for many people, is driven by this process called inflammation. He recommends anti-inflammatory foods, like the Mediterranean diet, which is fruits, vegetables, olive oils, whole grains, fish. He also likes probiotics. I eat the Greek yogurt and, and just hope it's... It's doing its job. <laughs> to fight the bad bacteria in the gut. We've learned is that the brain and the gut are intimately connected. He says the research in this new field, nutritional psychology, is still limited but quickly growing. But I do think there's enough evidence so far that we can definitely endorse the idea of at least trying some nutritional interventions. And remember, it's very, very safe. We're not going to cause any trouble this way. Doesn't mean you can't have a treat every once in a while. Oh, absolutely not. No. <laughs> have a little cheesecake treat every so often. Yeah. Heather Brown. Just too good to WCC never have it. Four news. Our expert also treats children with ADHD. For those patients, he says to add healthy proteins, more fruits and vegetables, and omega-3 fatty acids like salmon, walnuts, and flaxseed. Those all help build a healthy brain structure.